Okay, this is my second video of the first time documenting the reloading process of the uh, 223 ammo. Um, the next step I'm doing is priming the cartridges. And I have this uh, Lee hand primer that I purchased. Uh, a friend of mine has one of these and he says they work really good. So what I'm going to do is prime the bullets, or prime the uh, cases the first time. Pull everything out of here. I've not opened this before, but we have the little uh, Lee hand primer. And this holds the primers. It comes with two. This one's the small and the large. The large, of course, we're not going to use, so I'm going to put that back in the box and just kind of store it up. And this is the number four shell holder that goes into the hand primer. And we have CCI number 400 small rifle primers here. So, first step in this is I'm going to put this together, which according to instructions is pretty easy. You just push down on it, insert the shell holder, and it's done. And then from that point, I need to open this, dump these primers into the primer tray, and hopefully I won't make a mess. It's kind of neat because these little guys come uh, in a hundred pack, and one, two, three, four, five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take half of this and dump it in here because I have 50 reloads that I want to do. And what I'm going to do is take this, dump it in the primer uh, tray, and apparently by doing so, it's going to make it easy for me to fill these up. So uh, according to my buddy Greg, who gave me some coaching on this, Basically what you do is you turn this over like that, turn it back over like this, and voila, there's all your primers. And apparently they're supposed to all be the same, sitting the same direction, which these aren't, so we'll flip them over. And I guess this is how they're supposed to be. Uh, before I go sticking these primers in there and blowing something up, I'm gonna uh, take a minute and make double sure that this is the way they're supposed to be because it looks like they're all upside down so it looks like i missed one too but what i'm going to do is uh, take a minute come back after i verify my info and then we will continue with the reloading of the 223 ammo priming the cases working yeah what i just said so, uh, first of all, I am wearing safety glasses. Uh, I've read also that when you do this, you're supposed to point the, car, uh, the case away from you as you're pulling these in. Now what I'm going to do is, for the first time, see if this thing works. Uh-oh, I already got a little glitch going on here. You can tell I'm kind of nervous as it is. Greg sees the video, he's gonna be cracking up like crazy. All right, let's try this again. Here we go. Okay, first one. And look at that. Uh, I can't tell if it's sitting right. Looks like it's seated, right? All right. It's not so hard. Again, pointing it away. Proper seating. And it's funny, anytime you try something for the first time, it's pretty obvious that people are nervous. 
and I'm kind of nervous on this one too, so I don't mind saying that. So far, that's a pretty simple process. Basically, what it's doing is it's um, moving the primer down this little uh, uh, groove here into a position, and when I pull push up on it, it pushes another primer back into the next position for the next case. So as it goes in, you feel a little click, and that's how you know it's seated. It's a pretty simple little tool, pretty ingenious of how uh, we did this. And it doesn't feel like you really can't do anything much wrong. You feel a little click and you know it's in place. I'm probably going to be pretty anal about checking these things. Every single one of them. But that yeah, is pretty cool. That ain't bad at all. I like that. And once I guess you get used to this, the process goes pretty quick. Now that one didn't feel like it's seated. Yep, sure did. Huh. That's a neat little trick. I like it. All right, well, this video pretty much has exhausted its entertainment value in its entirety at this point.